I'm Efish, and you're watching Aquaparel TV. On today's episode, we're going to show you how to make a shark and stingray pond. Check it out. So the first thing that we did is we built the filter. The filter is made out of a 20 gallon trash can that's food grade safe. Um, you see Keegan drilling the holes in there. On the bottom of the garbage can, there's 14 pounds of live rock and a pump that does 1800 gallons an hour. From the pump, we have a PVC, which forms a T at the top, which is our spray bar. There's two baskets for filter media in there, which contain bio balls, carbon, Chemipure, and some filter pads. Uh, here you see us adding the salt and the sand. There is about 200 pounds of live sand in this pond in order to cover it, uh, the bottom, and create a nice thick sand bed. Uh, this whole process with the clearing of the water and all that and adding the nitrifying bacteria took about a week in order for us to get it clear enough um, for the transfer of the sharks. So what you're actually watching is a span of about a week and a half between construction and the transfer. There you see is the end result of putting the salt and sand with the water in and making it cloud, which is normal with um, live sand. Here you see Keegan finishing up the filter media uh, once the water cleared up enough. And right after this, we added the bacteria. We did about another 48 hours before we went ahead and added the three sharks and stingray. Here's the acclimation and transfer process. We first took some water from the aquarium and filled the baby pool about halfway. We then took the stingray and three sharks and put them into the baby pool. And then we started a drip line from the actual pond and they hung out in there for about an hour while they acclimated. And then we took them out of the baby pool and put them in their new home in the pond and it went really well. The only shark that gave us a problem was the bamboo shark. Um, she put up quite a fight, actually bit the net and took a few seconds for her to let it go. As you'll see right here, she was creating quite a problem. Um, generally, she's not an aggressive shark, so it was kind of strange. Um, but there you see her biting the net, and then there you see her after she let it go. So they hung out in there for about an hour, and uh, we moved them over, and everything went really well. They have a lot of room. They were very happy once they got in there. Um, it's just a great pond. Special thanks to Keegan Black of Black Sea Aquatics and Danielle for helping us film. This was a really fun project and the sharks and stingray are very grateful for their new home. Thanks for watching.